Welcome to the Learning Layer segment. Today, we have a very special guest, David, who is our N2K intern, but that's not why he's here. David is here because he just passed his AZ900 exam. So, David, congrats. Thank you. How's it feel to be AZ900 certified? I feel excited. <laughs> excited. All right. <laughs> yes, you get the certificate, and then you get to be on the Learning Layer podcast. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one is better. <laughs> um, all right. So, look, uh, I'll start with the most obvious question that other people are probably wondering who are preparing for their AZ-900. How did you prepare? How did you study? How did you do it? So what I mainly did was use Microsoft, Microsoft Learn modules mm -hmm. where I just looked over the terms and just like took notes on each term and like what it does in this application. Okay. Now I've heard that the Microsoft uh, Learn modules are, are free. Uh, mm -hmm. So anybody can kind of go out there and, and log in and use it today. Is there anything else you use in addition to uh, those free modules? Yeah, uh, I use Enterkey's QBank where I just looked over the questions and see that like the different type of questions. Like uh, when I use Microsoft Learns, Learn modules and this practice test, it was all multiple choice questions. So I didn't really have any experience using like a drop down menu or like a yes or no checkbox. Mm -hmm. So N2K's like QBank allows you to experience with all those different types of questions that you, you will see on the exam day. Ah, uh, so w what you're saying is on the AZ-900, there are question types that are not just multiple mm -hmm. choice. So you had to kind of practice and feel uh, the, the like experience yeah. of doing a different modality of questions. Mm -hmm. So the next question I have for you is, I think a lot of people struggle with like the last couple of days. It's always an awkward time. Yeah. And you've been doing all this studying. So I guess my question is, what did you do? Walk us through the last, I don't know, 48 hours before exam day. So this worked for me. So I don't recommend like, for, for most, it might not work. But mm -hmm. the day before the exam, all I did was just cram in as much information that I didn't really understand as possible. Okay. So, yeah, I just basically crammed everything and tried to take as much, like, practice exams or look at, like, questions that I could see on the exam as mm -hmm. possible. Okay. And then the day of the exam, I took it as, like, a chill day where I didn't do really anything. Mm -hmm. Like, all I did was just took a walk and, like, eat food and just chilled on my bed. <laughs> nice. So, I have one reaction to what you just said. Because, I mean, look, they're, they're all, it's, it's all good stuff, right? As you said, it worked for you. You passed the test. I can't argue with that. Some people, sounds like you might be in this camp, you kind of just can't help yourself. Like the day before the test, you need to feel like you're like looking at some of the content, mm -hmm. right? And you need to, I don't know, whether it's say just to make yourself feel better or you're anxious, you want to do something, you want to get some nervous energy out, you, you crammed mm -hmm. and you studied. That's fine. What I would say is next time, that day before, if you do need to look at material, Look at your strengths, yeah. not your weaknesses. What I mean by that is you can't really learn anything in one day anyway. Mm -hmm. And by looking at the stuff you already know and reinforcing it, it's actually going to give you confidence walking into mm. exam day. So anyway, the day of the test, you relaxed. You kind of got some fresh air. I love that. You got a little exercise. So what, what happened next? So I sat down on my computer getting yeah. ready for like the exam. Talked to my, my proctor and mm -hmm. everything. Then they said, download this link. I downloaded it. Boom. An error. <laughs> On exam day. <laughs> I couldn't access the, the website to take the test. So then I was panicking. Like, they said something about my router having a firewall blocking the website or whatever. <laughs> okay. so, and then I couldn't just take the test. So I was panicking. I was like, wait, so I can't take the exam or something? Yeah. And then they said, nope, I'm sorry, but you have to take it the next day. Oh. So I was like, wait, no, I have a chemistry exam the next day. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, what should I do? And then I was like, Whatever. I just had to go in and hope for the best. Okay. So, the next day, did my chemistry exam. Did pretty good. Got an A. Okay. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I, don't want, I don't want your high school teachers hearing this podcast being like, <laughs> my, my chemistry exam doesn't matter. But anyway, okay. So, you took chem first. Got an A. Nailed it. Then, what happened after that? Then, as soon as I got home, I had 30 minutes to prepare for the exam. <laughs> okay. All I did was just like sit down and relax and like, 
I got this. I got this. Yep. No, I even played music school. I was hyped up. Yep. And then I took the exam. And throughout the exam, one thing I want, like, one thing I know that helped me mm -hmm. was just staying calm. Mm. And the rest is history. <laughs> so, first of all, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. That's incredible. I don't know. There's a lot of cybersecurity practitioners who are taking Microsoft exams in AZ-900. I bet none of them took a chemistry test <laughs> the morning of. So congratulations. You're the you. first person in the history of AC900 <laughs> to do that. So well done. Um, do you have any other, you know, words of wisdom or one piece of advice that you would give somebody who is, I don't know, studying for AZ900 or is going to take it soon? This is something that I really want everyone to do. If they want to pass the exam, take notes mm -hmm. of each term and some of its, and its applications as well. Mm. Because the test, it mainly is just a term-based test. And if you mm. know what each definition is and like its uses, you will, you will pass. So yeah, mm. so just take notes. Even in flashcards, I would highly yeah. recommend have flashcards as well. So I just want to add one thing too. The N2K learning resources in LMS, we have flashcards built in, but yeah. I always like to remind students, sure, you can use ours, like those are helpful, mm -hmm. but also for the hard terms, create your own. Yeah. Make your own flashcards because it forces you to sort of put the terms into your own words, and that is when you're really learning. So mm -hmm. I like your tip, flashcard, flashcard, flashcard. Yep. All right, David, well, thank you so much for uh, coming on Learning Layer and telling us about your wild experience <laughs> taking the AZ-900. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you. What cert is up next? Well, up next, I'm planning to get my AWS Cloud Practitioner next around like May. And then okay. after, I'm planning to get the ISC Squared certification okay. and also the Azure Admin, Admin Associates as well. Well, when you pass those, we'll yep. have you back on Learning Layer to talk mm -hmm. about them. And maybe one day we'll have you on to talk about chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, David. All right. So I mentioned that David is an Urban Alliance intern. So I just want to give a quick word about Urban Alliance and the work that they do. They work with schools and employers across the greater Washington, D.C. area, Baltimore, Chicago, and Detroit to address systemic barriers to economic mobility and bridge the gap between education and workforce for young adults of color. They're always interested in adding more IT and cybersecurity partners. So if you or your organization is interested, please visit urbanalliance.org backslash contact us, or you can email Laura Montgomery at lmontgomery, M-O-N-T-G-O-M-E-R-Y at theurbanalliance.org. If you're interested in pursuing the AZ-900 exam or any other certification, N2K has comprehensive practice tests to help you prepare for exam day. We have prep materials for the full suite of many industry-leading certifications. Get access to multiple learning tools, including custom quizzes, flashcards, and simulated practice exams to help you walk into test day prepared and confident. <laughs>